fractured stories. The doors were locked, the windows were closed, and the city was quiet. There was barely a sound from anything outside, and I'd be damned if there's a sound from in here. I write these words in silence, in the hopes that by some miracle, someone finds it and can figure out what happened. It was two weeks ago since the fog rolled in. It was the most concentrated fog I had ever seen, as it rolled over cars and buildings, blanketing the streets like lava. You couldn't see anything. It was so thick it blinded you to your own feet. It was the following night that it began. The accidents, that is. I was sleeping, and a loud sound threw me awake. I totally fell back asleep, but after I woke the following morning, I decided to walk down the road where I had thought the sound had come from. I waded through the fog with others who walked with me intent on discerning the sound from last night. What we came upon was a hole. As the fog began to lessen, it revealed the foundation of the snapped rebar and ripped utility equipment. It was gone. It was all gone. There used to be a building, an apartment, but it was gone. A police officer who was there with us was as stumped as we were. Apartment buildings don't just up and walk away. This one looked as if something just ripped it out of the ground. Equally confused and concerned, I decided to walk back home. In that moment, I wanted nothing to do with disappearing buildings. I rushed back inside and just relaxed for the night. I had, hell, nobody was really working save for city safety and rescue services. Most other occupations were on hold. It was too unsafe to be driving as the fog was too thick. It was so dense you could cut it with a sword. As any time I happened to be glancing toward a window, it was as if it had been covered in snow. That night, I laid up in bed just before going to sleep. I glanced towards my window one last time, taking in the loud drumming silence. That was when I noticed something. The faintest hint of a shadow. As it flowed down the face of my window and stopped. Then there was another loud sound, much like the first one from the previous night, but much louder. I quickly hid myself under my covers and tried desperately to fall asleep. I swear, right before I passed out, I thought I'd heard something akin to screeching metal. I was jolted awake the following morning by a knock at the door, again. I was met with a police officer standing there seemingly as disheveled as I was. He spoke in a grim tone, saying that a nighttime curfew was being enforced, and that no persons were allowed outside after dark, and that nobody was to make a sound. Before I could ask any questions, he rushed off. As he left, he turned back to me, urging me to stay inside. With that, he was gone. Disappeared into the fog. I listened as he bellowed the same warnings to others nearby, his shouts quickly swallowed by the grey. Of course, given the recent events, I had no problem with staying inside. When night fell, I once again sat alone in my room, staring at the window. Suddenly, I heard a knock at the door, but I didn't respond. There was something about it that was unknowingly alien and familiar. It was three mildly loud knocks in steady succession. I just sat and waited. There was a curfew in effect after all. It was silent for a moment, then knocked three more times, then nothing. I continued to remain quiet for a moment, then I slowly stood up and cautiously moved towards the front door. Upon grasping the lock, I carefully turned to open the door. I was nudging both the lock and the door with such delicateness I thought it would shatter in my hands. Once it was opened, just enough for me to poke my head through, I peered outside into a world smothered white. 
It was an absence of sound I had never experienced before. If the world I had grown up and lived in most of my life had a heartbeat, it was not beating now. It was asleep, pumping at such a slow rhythm that life was barely noticeable. But instead of slowing down because it must, it slowed down on account of safety. The inhabitants that made up the body of this town were silent to save themselves. But neither they nor I were aware of the danger which circled us. In retrospect, it was a miracle. To have never been fully aware of what was happening. To never come close to understanding the nature of the situation. To have never looked into the eyes of the beast which stalks you from the tall grass was a miracle. Quite possibly the only one, if any, that God could spare us. As I stood in that doorway, I watched as a large, pale arm reached down from the clouds above. It slithered down the face of the building across from me, and with one finger it very carefully tapped on the door three separate times. I was in awe of the sight before me. An arm reaching down from the heavens, an unknown from somewhere in space and time. Or perhaps it had been there all along, moving with the clouds and storms like the storied beasts of old. I closed the door and returned to where I had been sitting. A somber feeling came over me. It was something likened to a feeling of accepting defeat. Not just defeat of myself, but of my aspirations and by extension the world's. Humanity had stood the test of time and had accomplished many beautiful and horrid things. We have taken ourselves above the clouds into the stars above and have invented bombs with which we can demolish entire cities. But after what I had seen that night, I, like every other human on earth, was akin to nothing more than a rabble of mice whom scour a rich planet whilst under the watchful gaze of something greater and more unknown than themselves. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed that. That was episode 16 of Fractured Stories. Episode 16! It's dope, we've come a long way. So I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed putting it all together, writing it, recording the lines, and all that fun stuff. And uh, also, thank you to Mayu Music for letting me use uh, the tunes that you got to listen to during my narration of the story. Big ups to him. I'll be leaving a link to his YouTube channel as well as his website, or his personal website, rather, in the description below. <clears throat> but anyways... I hope you all are good, hope you all are safe, and Halloween is quickly approaching, which is absolutely and positively and irrevocably dope. Now before I try and add any more ingredients to this word spaghetti, again, stay safe, stay awesome. This was your good friend the Musical Pumpkin watching over your pumpkin patch. I will see you in the Halloween video, next vid, or in the next Fractured Stories. Who knows when that will be, because I sort of don't. All right. Peace, yo.